Hi everybody, this week you will be learning how to create your own spooky house. And if you don't like spooky houses, you can create any kind of house you want to. For this project, you will need to use your own construction paper or you can use plain white paper out of your art packet. You will also need a pencil, scissors, glue, and something to color with. Let's start by making the house. You're going to start with a pencil and any color piece of paper that you want your house to be. You could even use white. Start by drawing a square or rectangle for the main part of the house. Once you have the house the correct shape and size that you want it to be, then you can take your scissors and cut it out. Now let's cut out the roof. You want the roof to be a triangle shape and I measured it next to the house to make sure it was the right size. Once I like the shape and size of my roof, I cut it out. You can use whatever color paper you have at home or just use white. You could always color the paper later the color you want it to be. Now you may want your spooky house to have a chimney a chimney will be a thin, tall rectangle. Place all your house parts together to make sure that they all fit correctly. Now take your pencil and draw the shape of your door. You want it to go straight across and then straight down, sort of like the number seven or an upside down capital L. Does your door shape match mine? If so, you're ready to take your scissors, start at the bottom, cut up, and then turn and cut over to the left, staying right on your pencil line that you drew. Try to open your door. It should flap open and closed. This is one of my favorite parts of my spooky house. Now we're going to take all the parts of the house and glue them together onto a piece of white paper. So you'll need your glue stick, the parts of the house, and a piece of white paper. In the door, don't get glue on the back of the door. You're going to want to put your glue on the back of all of the parts of your house. The main part of the house, you want to put your glue on the back, but not onto the door. So that way, once you press it down, the door can still open and close and you can surprise everybody with something inside. Next, decide where you want the roof and the chimney to go. Put the glue on the back and press those down as well. Don't forget to cap up your glue stick when you're done gluing down the three parts onto your background paper. Now you can decorate it. I drew a ghost on the inside of the door and I wrote the word boo. Maybe you want to draw something spooky on the inside of your door. You be creative and have fun with it. Next, I cut out a spooky tree. First the trunk and then a few branches off the top. You could add people, a scarecrow, you could add pumpkins or a black cat too, or maybe you have your own ideas. Glue down any of your extra details, such as your tree, and then you can add some more details, like windows and spooky things inside of the windows. I also added a doorknob to my door to make it look more realistic. Next, I added some gray smoke coming out of the chimney to make it look like some witch's brew is cooking. Have fun adding your own creative details to yours. Next, I added some dark clouds to the sky using wavy lines in purple dark blue, and black. You could use cool colors in the sky. 
using colored pencils, crayons, or even paint if you have some. You can put blues, purples, and grays throughout the sky to make it look like nightfall is coming. You could use dark colors in the sky to make it look like dusk was coming. Or you could put a yellow full moon in the sky. Or even use warm colors if you wanted it to look like sunset was approaching soon. You decide on your color scheme. I used black, blue, and purple in my sky. But you can use colors that go with the own color effect that you want to make. I continued using my dark colors all the way until I reached the ground or the horizon line. Boo, I hope that you had fun making your spooky house with a pop out door or whatever themed house you decided to make yours.